the headlines. Remove portfolios reinstated to Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joy Kumar. Four containment zones at Thangmaven after child in home quarantine test positive for COVID-19. Cops detained five women's banders for attempting to restart business at Khoiramban. Hello, good evening. Welcome to Times of Manipur. This is Hari Pratongrup giving you the news and details. Finance, Science and Technology and Economics and Statistic portfolios have been reinstated to Deputy Chief Minister Yumnam Joykumar today. In this regard, and Geoffrey, Special Secretary Cabinet, issued a notification. Sources informed that the other three MLAs of National People's Party and PP are likely to get their earlier portfolios allocated to them. MIF at the style of functioning of the BJP-led coalition government in the state, Four NPP MLAs withdrew support and joined opposition Congress, besides three BJP MLAs putting their papers. However, NPP National President Konrad K. Sangma, Northeast Democratic Alliance, Neda Convener, and Assam Finance Minister Himanta Bishwa Sarma had made efforts to rescue the Viren government. Chief Minister Birent on June 30 last visited New Delhi in a bid to defuse the political standoff, especially with the four NPP legislators. Meanwhile, the district administration in Far West yesterday issued an order declaring Yumnam Sagai Tonga, Koyantong, Prukri Makale, Lambi, IVR Polem Lekai Road, and Govardhan Achoba Lambi as containment zones, banning entry and exit of people initiating active surveillance of COVID 19 cases. The order comes after a resident of Thangmaiban Polem Likai in Imphal West, who was in home quarantine, has tested positive for COVID-19. DC Pravin Naurem also said that any person who violates the containment measures will be punished under Section 180 of Indian Panel Code 1860. Meanwhile, Thangmaiban United Club TUC, an umbrella body of 22 local clubs of Thangmaiban constituency, today blamed the concerned authorities for three members of a family at Thangmaiban contracting COVID-19. Talking to media at the office, premises of Rising Knowledge Club, United Club President Pratap Lai Sangtem described the incident very unfortunate. He said the three Delhi returnees had been under quarantine at Pawibi Hotel in Fall. Earlier, the parents tested positive but the child tested negative and was kept under home quarantine. However, the child tested positive later, Pratap said. TUC has taken serious note of the incident, he said, and condemned the authorities for their sloppiness in handling returnees. Government key is the order to iba aduga scenery ba madu madu bu implement tauri ba kangu do adu idu na masai ki mama pasi positive oire hairagadi masasi ato pa hotel amada na tragana government ki quarantine center amada ya amna section na adu na thambi raga madu amuk re test tauri raga thado piram taragadi ngasi ki piram jethu ay adu government si am section ba di malaga lau raga som makha da tauri ba implement si di am tam muong ta na tauri di hai tar angang si kasinas kayu mas sandro taragadi na adu time manda or manipura si ki jethu Tuk tena ba, ya lagi aku ikan mesin na aku section terang lakukan la ninge, atau buat matam dah aduh nak teraga di masih dah tholak apa apa tu tu ikan mesin, puga dah bani masih di, yang penting ikan mesin akan instruction PBU, lagi bawa makah dalam ibu department sini je PBU rakan dah tahun ninge habis je, itu sahaja. Manipur's COVID-19 daily climbed to 1,366 after registering 41 more positive cases as of last Sunday. The samples were confirmed at the Virus Research and Diagnostic Laboratory BRDL of Regional Institute of Medical Sciences Reims Imphal, official said. With this, the number of active cases in the state rose to 677. A total of 689 patients have recovered from the disease so far. 
The state's COVID-19 recovered patients exceeded the number of active cases yesterday. The recovery rate in the Manipur is 50.43%. In Tripura, 22% tested positive for coronavirus, taking the total positive cases in the state to 1,581 with 362 active cases. According to media reports, about 1,630 samples were tested in the state yesterday. With 12 more person testing positive for COVID-19 yesterday evening. The total number of positive cases in Nagaland spiked to 590. In total, 27 fresh cases of COVID-19 were reported yesterday. Earlier yesterday, 15 new cases of COVID-19 were reported, taking the state total to 578. With the addition of 12 new cases, the total spiked to 590. Three more persons have also recovered from COVID-19 in the last 24 hours, as per media reports. The total number of active cases now stands at 359 and the number of recovered cases increased to 231. No COVID-19 related death has been reported in the state so far. In Fall City, police today detained five members, including President and Secretary of New Market Ima Kaitel Mayang Lang Fizol Yonbi Nupi Loop, as they attempted to resume business at Kwaidamban New Market, violating government order. The Loop had on July 1 announced to reop reopen the market on July 6, serving a deadline to the government to come up with a clear cut policy to facilitate reopening of Kwaidamban Market by July 5. Hai Kruzam Santi, one of the women vendors, said the market has remained set for four months due to which all the vendors have faced hardship in supporting livelihood. She demanded the state government to initiate a plan to facilitate reopening of the market with certain guidelines and rules at the earliest. <laughs> Now let's take a short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Sambray Thao Industry ki anawba pradak amu oi na kaang na chikpadagi ngak thok na ba organic pradak na sem sa za ba hak saang da tay na ba organic mosquito repellent put hok chari kaang na chikpadagi ngak thok pada na ta na hak saang da tay ba matam da tukhong seng dok pa kuchu phaja han ba chikpa na ba fahan ba amadi skin disease kaya fahan ba ngam na ba hidak ne Fung Fung, Michu Embroidery, Sagol Bantera, Kurai Zamlai Kai contact number 9856159680 na traga 9863206335 Ichabu mahitam hanba haibasi mama mapa singna macha da piba ngamba khwaidi gi chabu khudoni Slopland Public School biggest and the finest residential school Manipur gi oina lemjuningai oiraba mahitam ham ama oiriba khwaidi gi chunara ma ham da semgat laba CBS the affiliate toba higher secondary school oiri Icha singbu admission to widana mama mapa singna macha da piba ngamba Kwaidi ki chao bukudol oi biyo, icha ki phazabalam chat sazat ki ahong badu u biyo. Slopland Public School, Kong Jom. Welcome back. An arboretum was inaugurated today by Divisional Forest Officer, Central Forest Division, Manipur, R.K. Amarjit, IFS at the complex of 2nd Battalion Manipur Rifles in Imphal as part of the week-long Van Mohasap observance. 2nd Battalion Manipur Rifles Commandant P. Manjit Singh, MPS was the president of the event organized by the battalion. On the occasion, Chip Gales of the function DFO RK Amarjit said that the arboretum would serve as a center for the research for future university students of the state. He also said that the arboretum would help protect the environment apart from the conserving and protecting the rare species of trees. Koi college ki sathra, school ki sathra, mukhi na moi taxonomy, botany, tambamatam dasu sida visit taurakanda asigumba 
इंडिजिनस मनपुर फंब मखल मखा के अगि पानी से इम्फा मनुम से लाइन लापीर कान हें स्टी तब चाब खुद चाबनी थमजगे All together, 3,618 students appear today in the remaining examinations of Class 12 conducted by the Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur Kosham at 51 centers. A total of 547 students will appear at 24 examination centers tomorrow. Council of Higher Secondary Education Manipur Kosham had on July 4 announced the schedule for the remaining examinations of Class 12. Botany and <coughs> Zoology departments of Manipur University today celebrated 100 awareness campaign on COVID-19, which started on May 14 and ended on June 30, 2020. The awareness campaign was held on the theme "What Can You Do for Your Society Regarding COVID-19." At the closing event of the <coughs> awareness campaign at Univers Manipur University Kanchipur today, Journal Singh Vice Chancellor. an administrator of manipur university released a booklet on the awareness campaign on covid-19 professor amar yumnam and professor g a santi bala devi dean of school of life science mu were also present at the occasion right from 1980 i started playing tennis here in the in manipur in 2000 uh, 16 17 i used to play and i found uh, the keeping the having good health running doing exercise made me quite healthy one day i was nicely calculating i thought my age might have increased by 5 years by playing and staying in manipur the climate is good because when i calculated my own colleagues i we were 102 out of 102 32 have already died in ias अटो चलप गाड़ी चलो कम चलकनी कम पोटेक्ट तौकनी लाइबीदीब अखोरी मरीद की हेन मार्क्स येजरे साजर डिजाइन तौजर डब्ल्यू एस ओ की स्पेसीफिकेसन तौजनी कम खुंगनी कम चावनी हेन तो अखोन फेस चिलगा प्लास्टिक तौर माइ कुछ मत माइ तौदी अम हूं कम सागदी यूम कम सागने का मैंबनी साजर हय उप तारगद हयें मी तीन मम चप तरह पोटेक्शन से लेगने कैंपेन Recognizing and appreciating the media person who are among the front liners battling COVID-19 pandemic, the All Manipur Recognized Private Schools Welfare Association today provided hand sanitizers and face masks to journalists through All Manipur Working Journalists Union (AMJU) at Manipur Press Club in Imphal. Welfare Association President at the event said that they want to encourage the media men who have been working amid the pandemic to disseminate information to the public. He also appealed that the state government should formulate a policy to facilitate reopening of schools in a phase wise in the interest of all students from class 9 to 12. मेडिया मनपुरी Citing the hard times faced by the people amid the COVID-19 pandemic, the NSUI Manipur State Unit has called on all private schools to comply with the government direction to waive school fees due to the COVID-19 lockdown and public curfew since March. All activities, including educational institutes, have been facing the brunt. 
NSUI Manipur Unit President P. Bankin Chandra told journalists at Congress Bhavan to BT Road. He mentioned that the NSUI has been pressurizing the government to give mass promotion to graduate and undergraduate students who are doing first year and second year. Besides, it has also been urging the government to give mass promotion to these students after evaluating the test result of the first year and second year. Makhal Amatagi Akwe Pujiksi competitive exam conduct to Vidanaba, Hydanaso Akwe, and Eswai Manipur State, and demand to Zavane, Kaigino Haragadi, Masideda, Arap Arapa Mapam Dagi, Akwe Kungangi Lam Dagi, Chingi Lam Dagi, Akwe Examination Center, Tongan Tongan, Badala Iba Singze Akwe. Inconvenience Mayamam Mayok Nava Haitare. Sideda Akwe Lainazi, Hena Sandorok Pagi, Akwe Asigumba, Lambi Yama, Hena Oihal Leva. Going around the country, the Karnataka, the SSLC exam conduct over the Miam Sohena Kambira Mani, a Koisatra, Kuntani toy positive oil. Exam center Manung to the social distancing Tamaga, Sao Grava room to a Koi Mikara de Hena Pamandeva, Moigi Tonganba, Marks Upi, Moi Hen sanitizer exam hold to the Changjing either Pazana season nine. Locut Pam talk per section Taurang, a document of local labor, a doer Gazu, Satra, Kuntani toy positive oil. Sine example or a quine sexual hogad of neighbor, Kogi state, see the so. BJP Manipur Pradesh today observed the 119th birth anniversary of Dr. Sema Prasad Mukherjee, the founder of Bharatiya Jan Sangha at the party office located at Nita Pachutik in Imphal. Rich tributes were paid to the photo of Mukherjee on the occasion. Meanwhile, five Congress councillors of Thobal Municipal Council including the chairperson joined the state BJP today. Party President Professor S. T. Kendra appreciated the five councillors for joining BJP. BJP State Union of Pangtong Sariba Palon Segi, Loina Nayam Nungaiba, Paomana, Tobal Municipal Council Gi, Congress the Lamba, Councillor Taru, Sir Person Galoina, a CSA, BJP Ta Yaure, Lugamakoi Wutaram Nuokpagi, Adumba, Tora Mama, Koyangasi Pangtong Sariba, and Rosita Sita Dumpuna. Yaushi mena re, aduna. Hari ba me taru kasi lakpaga loyna na. Thobal municipal council le se koi ge apung phaba adu gumba BJP ke apung phaba council lama koi re hai tena koi mesi ganu upar development se ge apung mesi presto thamzari. Irawat Foundation Manipur has extended monetary aid of rupees five thousand to Salam Kumar, a farmer at Chandrapur within Moirang Kuno today. The aid encourages Kumar in his unyielding effort in his work according to a release from the foundation. Ahead of Van Mohosab 2020, K. Kru Yairi Club Yadipo KYCY Thawal under the aegis of Forest Department planted sapling at K. Kru Playground today. KYCY Secretary General Longjam Dizen said that the trees were planted in the association with Thawal Forest Division. The local club thank the district forest official Thobal for providing the saplings. The Manipur Public Works Department Engineers Association MPEA today said that association has joined the lockout strike goal by the Manipur Government Services Federation to push for its legitimate demands. The Manipur Water Resources Engineers Association MWREA has also joined the strike. This was informed through separate press releases. Manipur Government Services Federation has submitted an 11-point charter of demands to the state government, which includes implementation of 7 pay commissions, enhancement of DADR rate at par with the central government employees from April 1, 2020, as per the Memorandum of Understanding MOU, signed on June 8, 2018. In this regard, the Federation held a press meet at Pansner Union Sanglin Singzame Chingamaka in Fal today. The other demands are settling of dispute regarding pay anomalies, extension of service benefits to all employees of ground in ad bodies under the state government, including 7B revision, creation of promotion for the stenographer of various departments other than the Manipur Secretariat, revision of pay for the college teachers serving in government colleges as per the UGC 7 pay regulation 2018 as announced by the Chief Minister on February 11, 2020. 
Settlement of the issue of NPA of the doctors' nursing allowances of the trained nurses serving under the state government to complete the process of RRS and benefit of 7 pay revision of the employees, restoration of 10% secretariat duty allowance of the Manipur secretariat em employees and completion of the process of regulation of work charts and casual and master role employees of all engineering departments of the state. Here we have another short commercial break. Do stay tuned for more updates. Kanganjaba, Lamzingba Finance Ki member sing the Kanganjari Madudi, COVID 19 Lakshin of Lautokiba, Lockdown Amaram Oiduna, Matam Kuina Lep Luraba, Lamzingba Finance Ki Tabak Singh, Matang Ta, Agaski Tang Tara Mangadagi, Amuk Hogzeragani, Matam Kuina Piba Lep Luraba, member sing the benefit sing, September Getang Kun Matoi, Leba Poponamitagi, Piba Hogzeragani, September Amasung, October Ta Anishiki Oinadi, one per cent of Pizagani, Aduga, November Ta Dagi Hauraga, Matung Tava Ta Singi Oinadi, Hanagumna agreement lay nakiba parcentista adumak pizagani. Amarunda, Sahiasigi Hokiba Mars Tagitang Kun Pawgi Manung the Leva, Benefit Lotto of the Member Singi Oina, September Gitang Tareta, Pitok Seragani. Makatana, Member Singima from the Kangan Jerima Dudi, Malem Pumbada, Covid nineteen licet lak padagi, Wana Rabamatam Oivana, Civil Society Organization, Langak Amadi, Atai Lupkeagi Wafumbu, Natai Vyadavana, Matam Queen Lamzingo Financu, Tavak Suba Yadavadagi, Tong Londuna, Lay Rure. Maramaduna, Hokiba Mars Tagi Tankun Matoi de Gihoraga, Matang Ta Agaski Tankun Pawgi Oina, Member Singi Benefit Pizerero Adubu, Benefit Behold of Tama Sing Adu Paraga, Majority Peret Yorok Labamatamda, Member Sing the Pitok Sagani, Masida, Nung Sizeraba Member Singa, Waro Biro Kanze, Lunena, Hyzeri Bawafum Singa Sida, Member Singa Apam Pam the Yorobasu, Covid nineteen Laksinava, Lockdown Lake Kibadagi, Wana Rabamatam Oivana. I quit Punna Saru Yamina Sihaina, Lumsing by Finance came my Kedagi, Kangan Jerry. Kangan Jeriva, Lumsing by Finance. Welcome back. Jiribam District Pineapple Farmers have thanked Chief Minister of Manipur and Birend and Concern Official for buying pineapples from the district. Pineapple growers are in deep distress as they have been losing market due to COVID 19 pandemic. On the advice of Chief Minister N. Biren Singh, the government bought pineapples from the Jiribam, facilitating direct marketing of their produce. El Jailond, a pineapple farmer, also held the Chief Minister for the Noble Egg. Kumsi Lockdown Gidama Ekoi Kihom Sezon Naba Mapam Pangde. A koi manipur siam na nung si du na a koi line piba a koi farmer mising se lam na harau zare. Former Minister Moirang Tim Hemanta today targeted a state government of a failing to ensure availability of the fertilizers to the farmers. He demanded that the agriculture minister resign for poor handling of the situation. Even though the farmers are willing to buy fertilizers at the rate fixed by the government, fertilizers are not available. Hemant told media at his 10th residence in the Thobal district. He said, do one bag of fertilizers cost rupees 2,266.80. It is sold at the rupees 1,000 in open market. He appealed to the concerned authorities to increase a long-term policy in the large in the larger interest of the farming community. Sarkana Lepa Mamanda, Lejagi Haiba Matanda, Lehpa Lamdaba, Sarkara say, Matik Chad was Sarkani, Lumi Singi, Har Mamanamdaba, Egikasa Nisa, Ham Tadoka Dabani, Garikumba, Masana Kanga, Ham Tadok Tragana, Chief Minisana, Mafum Toka Dabani, Madame Kargi Mamanda, Minister Amana, Chief Minister Kundura Nanga the Gi Kudata, no Nanu Namdana, Mantri Pam, Totuna, Minister without portfolio, where it hung given it. Maramaduna, the Paki Kiraba, Lomizina, Har Pama Matanda, Har Pivam Daba, Mantri as a Mahaki, Hamasi, Chief Minister Lotoka Dabi, Maduna Trabadi, the Paki Chief Minister as Asan Mirai Naiba, Tibni Sani Haina, Lori the Bogi, Madame Lady Haiba Pomasi. 
Kaching High School, 1984, Class 10 alumni today planted trees ahead of Ban Mohosap 2020 on the roadside streets on Kaching Kuno Chingjil Iring Band. Alumni President N. Munal Maite said that they plant saplings every year in the first week of July since 1950 to mark Ban Mohosap. He said sapling plantation in the valley renders meaningless if deforestation continues in the hills. Worrying about their standing crops, farmers in Borayangbi area and the Kumbi are struggling hard to block water overflowing the trains of Kabuk Pendi fields. Our Bishnupur correspondent reports that Wangu River is swelling due to incessant rainfall in the past few days. One of the district's farmers demanded the state government for a long term solution for such situation during rainy season. <laughs> The Legal and Legislative Committee of Kuwait National Assembly has approved a draft bill to reduce the number of foreign workers that could result in at least 7 lakhs Indians leaving the Gulf country if enacted into law. According to media reports, the committee deemed the draft expert quota bill as constitutional. The bill which proposes that the number of Indians should not exceed 15% of the country's 4.8 million population will be transferred to another committee for a comprehensive plan to be chalked out. Indians number about 1.4 million in the Kuwait, forming the largest expatriate community in the country, followed by Egyptians. The bill proposes similar quotas for people belonging to the nation too. Kuwait Prime Minister Sheikh Sabah Al Khalid Al Sabah reportedly proposed decreasing the number of expats from 70% to 30% of the total population. In the first signs of military dialogue for this engagement, showing results, Chinese troops, al Chinese troops along the line of actual control LAC, Chinese troops have pulled back by 1.5 kilometers from. Three friction sites, including the site of the June 15 violent classes at Galwan Valley in eastern Ladakh, as per a media report. The disengagement of troops from the patrolling points at Galwan Valley, Hot Springs area, and Gogra, which had seen significant military buildup over the last two months, comes after three rounds of commander level talks in June. Three boxers from Assam, Lovlina Borgohand, Jamuna Boro, and Siva Thapa have features in the top ranking in amateur boxers, boxers world rankings, which were released by the International Boxing Association IBA recently. In the latest ranking, Lovlina has been ranked third in the 69 kg weight category, Jamuna Boro is ranked fifth in the 54 kg weight category, and Thapa is ranked 16 in the 60 kg weight category, according to a media report. Manipur's Mary Com and El Sarita Devi have respectively been ranked third in 51 kg category, category and 25th in the 60 kg wet category. Abba General Secretary in the masses congratulated all the boxes and it read, we are so glad to announce that three boxes from Assam is in the top and two boxes from neighboring Manipur are also ranked in the top. Hundreds of scientists say there is evidence that novel coronavirus in smaller particles in the air can infect people and are calling for the World Health Organization to revise recommendations, the New York Times reported on Sunday. The World Health Organization has said the coronavirus disease spread primarily from the person to person through small droplets from the nose or mouth, which are expelled, expelled when a person with COVID-19 cough, sneezes or speaks. In an open letter to the agency which the researcher plan to publish in a scientific journal next week, 239 scientists in 32 countries outlined the evidence showing smaller particles can be infect people, the NYT said. Before we close, let's see the top news headlines once again. <music> Remove portfolios reinstated to Deputy Chief Minister Yunam Joy Kumar.
for containment zones at Thangmiban after child in home quarantine days positive for COVID-19. And cops detained five women's banders for attempting to restart business at Firemban. That's all for the moment. Thank you very much for joining us and keep watching Times of Manipur News Update and good night.